Salem, Massachusetts has a rich cultural history that continues to shape our city. From the exotic works of art brought back from the East Indies by spice merchants, to Nathaniel Hawthorne and Arthur Miller setting classic American literature in Salem, to our current art scene, culture and art have always had a strong presence here. In 1799, the East India Marine Society established a cabinet of natural and artificial curiosities. As captains and crews returned from around the world voyages, they would bring back artifacts from the ports they stopped in. Eventually, that cabinet of curiosities became the Peabody Essex Museum, a world-class attraction and educational resource. Thanks to long-standing relationships with museums in Japan and China, the Peabody Essex has a premier collection of Far East art. They host first-rate art exhibits from around the world and are a major draw for visitors to our downtown. Seeing what having a well-respected museum in the downtown could do for Salem, city leaders agreed to give up a municipal parking lot and a portion of a public street to allow the PBD Essex to expand in the 90s. That investment has paid off as residents and tourists continue to flock to the museum, as well as to our downtown shops and restaurants. While the 1692 Salem witchcraft trials are a dark spot on Salem's history, they've also piqued the interest of visitors from around the world who travel to our city each year to learn about the trials and modern witchcraft. Around Salem, attractions related to witchcraft can range from kitschy, like our downtown statute of Samantha from the Bewitched TV show, to educational. Salem's Old Town Hall has been transformed into a cultural venue and home to productions of History Alive. Gordon College students portray events related to the Salem Witch Trials in Colonial Salem in each production. Arts in Salem aren't based solely on the past. Many of our cafes and restaurants host musicians and art exhibits, and the city has encouraged public art projects as a way to beautify our community. Each year, Salem's arts community and dedicated volunteers help to produce special events that both entertain and educate visitors about the arts. The Salem Film Festival continues to draw in movie lovers from the North Shore and beyond and expose viewers to truly innovative cinema. Fresh off its second year, the Salem Arts Festival drew a diverse group of participants, from painters to photographers to bluegrass players and Scottish dancers. There was truly something for everyone. And despite a rainy second day, this year's Jazz and Soul Festival was a big hit and gave anyone who attended, and the many people who did so, a chance to attend a performance by world-renowned musicians. Salem is also home to Artist Row. Each year, local artists apply for a location to house their weirs, where they can sell their work and teach visitors about their craft. This season was one of our most diverse, with fine artists, a potter, actors, and a musician on the row. For centuries, Salem has had a vibrant arts community, and that legacy continues as Salem grows and changes. We're only a short distance from Boston, via car, train, or ferry. You should definitely come check us out.